More and more apps are being built with the advanced front-end tools such as AngularJS, Ember, Backbone, and more. These tools access data using REST APIs, usually exchanging data in JSON format. In this section, we'll discuss how to easily add a RESTful API to your Django applications. We'll introduce TastyPy and how it will expose your models as REST resources. Then we'll add some additional data and query options to our API, and then add authentication so that we can do create, read, update, and delete methods on our data. First, we'll install TastyPy, and then we'll create a basic API. Let's start with TastyPy. This is an add-on module for Django that makes it easy to add an API. It can do a lot, way more than we can cover in this video series. But we'll demonstrate the features you're most likely to need. Before we can do much, we need to install TastyPy. I'm using a virtual env, but that's not required. The steps are the same either way. Simply use pip to install the module named Django TastyPy. If you just try to install TastyPy, it will warn you that there are no matching versions. You need Django-TastyPy. In this app, I've created models for a music collection. You can see here that I have artist, album, and song. I've also enabled the admin area. And I've created an artist who happens to be my daughter and some songs that she loves to sing. Before using the sample data, you'll want to use the create super user command to add a new user to the database. Something that you may not do very often is create model managers. For now, just copy my example and we'll talk more about managers in a later section. This is going to add some more advanced filtering capabilities to our models, which we'll need in the next video. Now let's get to the fun part. We need to create a file called api.py in our application. Here we import model resource, which is the most useful feature of TastyPy. It will do most of the work to expose our model as an API. If you have some other data you want to expose that doesn't come from a model, then you could just use resource, which does the same thing but without a model. We import our models and then the fields from TastyPy. We also import API which is a utility of TastyPy to gather resources together into a single API. The next part looks a lot like when you register your models to use them in the admin area. We'll create a class for each of our models that we want to expose as part of the API. Note that for album, we need to tell TastyPy about our foreign key relationship to artist, and for song, we need to tell about both the foreign keys for artist and album. Then we create an API. We'll call it v1, and then register our resources with it. This won't be very useful until we add it to our urls.py. So we'll import our API and then include the v1 API URLs. Now if we open our browser, we can visit API forward slash v1 forward slash song question mark format equals JSON and then see our songs. It's pretty ugly, so let's use Postman. Postman is a browser plugin for Chrome that lets you fiddle with APIs. You'll see that it returns objects, album, artist, the resource URL, and then the title of the song, Jingle Bells, or Baba Black Sheep. Okay, we did a lot here, so feel free to review the code samples and experiment with your own data. In the next video, we'll enhance our service slightly with some custom queries.